Hey, chat. Welcome out to the stream. Hope everyone's doing okay today. Good morning. What's up, everybody? Let's see. Did we get the bot announcement today? Oh, we did. Okay, good. am I doing? I'm doing okay. My, uh, my Twitch is still broken. I don't know why. Sweet. It's not sweet. It sucks. <laughs> Ashbear Matias, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Being an all-new Twitch Prime sub, thank you. Yeah, my, uh, my creator dashboard is still just a blank page. You played against me in Dominaria a few plays ago. You're playing a bad blue-red wizard, red wizards deck. Did we play against each other? That's cool. Hold on. Let me go look at my 17 lands. Maybe I can find... Find that game. Let's see. So I was playing just on my own. Oh, I'm not gonna find it. Forget it. Stage select show. Thank you for resubscribing. Just remember getting crushed by me. Well, sick. <laughs> well, GG's then. I believe you. And welcome to Magic Mondays, everybody. Someone redeemed a booster pack opening. Did someone? See, that's the thing. Like, because my Twitch is broken, I can't see any of that stuff. Sweet. Oh, no. Uh, Cray, Zekro, did you, you did redemption? Hold on. Because if you did... I need you to pick something else because I ran out. Maybath, also coming in with the Twitch Prime resubby. Not resub, new sub. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Update that new. What's available? God damn it. Fine. Well, right, hey, look, everyone. We got a booster pack opening. It was going to be Kamigawa, but it ran out. So instead, we're going to do some anime titties. How do you went? So, again, I didn't buy these. These were just sent to me. They're like these little tiny anime booba packs. And because they're so small, we opened two for each redemption. And now we're going to look at a bunch of anime boobs. And I won't know what they are. So, this is for you, Cray. You, okay, because someone else was curious. Okay, sure. Right, your friend was just asking. Got it. All right. So, we're starting off 
right away with uh whoa it's bunny girl with her boobies whoa dang dude nice and then we got that girl and then whoa look at that girl with her boobies wearing like maybe a lingerie i don't even know nice uh whoa oh retro anime babe dang the best uh the, that girl! What is happening here? Are we wearing like a weird like cat outfit? And her boobs are literally defying gravity. So congratulations. <sighs> Alright. And uh, now, wow! Wait, is that Madoka? Is that Madoka? I actually recognize that one. If, if that is Madoka. It's shiny Madoka. Alright. Dang. Nice boobs. But we know the best thing about boobs is they always come in pairs. Yay. Alright. More boobs. upsetting. Alright, we got that girl. That girl. I've never seen this one before. She had like a playing card aesthetic. I don't know. There's some boobs in there. Jeez, is that full pack coming out alt arts? That must be it, yeah. Oh, this girl. She's a mate. Ooh. ooh. Uh, that girl. We've also got... Uh, we've gotten this one so many times. That's so shiny. And then we got this girl. Oh, that's Holo. I know that one. Hey. Boom, there's another one I know. Holo. Holo the Wise Wolf. Honestly surprised she isn't naked. Because she's naked all the time in her own series. There you go. We did it. Thanks for redeeming your chat points for that. Hopefully I wasn't too awkward for anyone just joining us. It's too late for that. <laughs> Mental darkness plus five. <laughs> oh boy. Possibly nerd. Thanks for the 123 bits. KGK also 100 bits. Thank you, guys. No, holo foil. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, let's play some magic. Am I out of those cards? Nah, I still got some left. Is magic easy to get into? Um, it's pretty easy now, thanks to programs like Arena. Like, this is free to download and play. And the, uh, actually got pretty good, like, beginner's tutorial stuff. So, like, learning to play is easy, but, like, getting into it and, like, having a competitive deck or whatever, that's eh, a little tougher. Do I recommend Arena? I mean, again, if you just want to play it casually, yeah. If you want to play like competitively or whatever, not really because the economy is so bad and you spend so much money. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to do some uh, Dominaria or just stick with Neon Dynasty? Any good deals today? Huh? We could try to do like a little bit of both. Nah, deals today are dumb. Did I play the mixed up sealed? I did do the mixed up sealed. I actually really liked it. I had a lot of fun. Um, we'll do a Dominari at first. Maybe we'll swap over to Neo after. Hey, Jimui, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Mm-hmm. 
Any busted bombs in the mixed up sealed? Well, the mixed up sealed, like, you just get a booster pack from just everything. Ooh. It take here. Yargle. The legendary 9 3. Um, what do I like here? Probably just to settle the score. I think. Um, in my sealed pools, I had one that had like... I had two board wipes. Two of the white board wipes. Uh, um, the six mana Garrick Planeswalker. And... Ah, uh, what else? Some other errors. Doesn't matter. But I like just... I played them all. Just threw them all in there. It was great. Maya X Maya, thanks for gifting a sub to Jimui. Ooh. How many goblins are in the format again? Because you just grab the goblin war chief and draft goblins. Or just get that skittering surveyor because, you know, these are just awesome. A fungal infection is actually really good. It looks like black is kind of drying up. I know that white basically stays open because white isn't too awesome. I think someone at the table is going to be playing white. Like, I passed to Sarah Angel. <laughs> there are six goblin cards? No, that's not enough. That's not enough. Sarah Disciple is bad. Ancient Animus. Oh, the Warcry Phoenix. Whisper is also just kind of okay. Yeah, I think we. Oh, Lich's Mastery. Does the meme live? Haven Sentry is honestly a good card. So is the Merfolk Trickster. Maybe white is slightly open. Hmm. Never mind. No white in here. Chainer's Torment. I don't think this card ever actually plays out well. We have a Gitu Chronicler and a Gitu Journey Mage. Pick up the Journey Mage. And these are just a bunch of cards. Ugh. Pick nine. Yargle came back around? The disrespect. So all the white cards were taken. Gideon's Reproach and Sarah Angel. There's another Tolarian Scholar. They're just kind of fine. Someone took the Vicious Offering and the Death Bloom Thal, but didn't take the Stronghold Confessor. Which means there's two black drafters. Someone took the divination, but not the Vildalian Arcanist. Maybe 
Maybe you can do some blue. Then both these guys came back around. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Kind of lean towards just like some red, white, aggressive stuff. Maybe. This is one of the problems with Dominaria drafts. Sweet. Is that a lot of times? By the end of it, like you don't actually feel good. Kazarov. Pivot black. It's a seven mana four four flyer. There's also just cast down. Oh, get to journey mage. I do have the skittering surveyor, so splashing black isn't out of the question. Though if I want to be like. If I want to be aggro. Yeah, I'm leaning towards something aggressive. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Urza's Runus Blast. That ain't gonna happen. A short sword, though. Hell yeah. Ooh, a Shalai? Oh, dang. Actually, these are all... Look at all the white in these packs. We got Shalai. Great. On Sarah's Wings. Amazing. Call the Cavalry is fine. Pegasus Cursor. Probably the best white common. What do you take out of all of these? Third, Gitu Journey Mage. Lotus Priest and Real Sector 7G. Thanks for the resubs. I think just the 3-4 flyers, correct? It'll never be activated, but it is a 3-4 flyer. I like the Adamant Will as well. I can't pick up the Journey Mage because I would be fine picking up any one of these white cards when it wheels back around. So a Knight of Nubinalia. Might grab the Frenzied Rage. That way if, um... Who's that? That 1-1 one, one Aura guy? If he shows up, this will make him amazing. Though I am currently lacking interaction. I have a Dominant Trapper, but I don't have any real worthwhile historic cards. Sanctum Spirit. Not a fan. Grab the Adamant Will. What happened with the untapped extension? Is it not working right now? Let me look. My extensions. Oh, activate. Set as overlay one. There we go. Should be activated now. Lays are Pringles? Lays, but the ruffles. Another Dominant Trapper. I've got a lot of three drops. Honestly, the Howling Golem? I don't hate here. It's another historic card. And then, like, if I'm playing aggressive, this helps make sure I can draw up cards. Do you need to see some Shivan Fires? Ooh, Mesa Unicorn's excellent. A little 2-2 two -two lifelinker?
Another Avon Sentry. I'd rather run Avon Sentries than Rampaging Cyclopses. It's a late Caligo Skin Witch. The healing Grace will definitely be cut by the end of this. There we go. Maybe Adamant Will win better than the Reproach, just because it's a more aggressive card. Another one? The Juggernaut could be funny. Maybe it's the blue player in me, but I kind of want to take the Warlord's Fury just for a little cantrip, give him all my dudes first strike. Maybe Juggernaut is the correct choice. Like, this will likely wheel around before the Juggernaut. Ooh. Wait, hold on. 3-3 three, three Flying First Strike. Whenever an aura or equipment you control is put into the graveyard, it'll be put into your hand at the end. Aura or equipment, huh? So, I have one sword and one frenzied rage. That's going to happen. Fight with fire, however. Yes. Tempting. I kind of want to be on the cheaper end. The Pegasus Cursor is just going to be better. Yeah, the Juggernaut's also a historic card. That was another thought. Ooh, Immolating Inferno. I don't have a way of casting it. Invoke the Divine. Surprisingly playable. But that'll wheel. Pick up a fourth Journey Mage. Ah, the blue just end up super open at the end. All right. That was some of the things I got to do in my drafts over the weekend. Is I got to, I had the Mirai Conjecture with Fight with Fire. And I was able to kick Fight with Fire, Mirai Conjecture it to double it, and just deal 20 damage to my opponent's face. Ooh, a Radha? I do have the Skittery Surveyor to get a green source, but I don't think I want to do that. Probably just need more interaction like another Adamant will. What about third adamant will? Yeah, if we go like this, we won't need the scootering surveyor. Take out that Cyclops. Probably don't want Call the Cavalry. Or, hear me out, fourth adamant will. Another thing is actually seismic shift because you can make two target creatures unable to block this turn. I'll take that as a possibility, because I really don't think I need that many Adamant Wills. Sten Foes, thanks for the resub. Oh, and Tiana came around. Don't think we're playing her. Alright, well this is a weird, weird draft spot. I do think, if you can, aggro in this set is pretty good because a lot of people want to know that the format is slow. But so they want to do like a lot of like slow play, tricksy build up stuff. And I just feel like if you can deny that, it works out better. Wow, I did not get any two drops. I was not paying attention. That's not good. Whoops. All right, so for an aggressive deck, this might just suck.
Damn, I was just not paying attention. I have no one to blame but me. Really? Just no other ones, huh? Yeah, I guess not. Hmm. Maybe I should just bring in Tiana just so it's a 3 3 flying first striker. Alright, well, just blame chat. I am. Making me all pay attention to you and all your little questions. Instead of letting me focus on top tier magic plays. Could this deck get away with 15 lands? I don't feel like I got enough two drops for 15 lands. I'm going to say no. All right. Um, okay, so here's the thing. I would allow predictions, but because my YouTube, or my YouTube, my Twitch dashboard is not working, I just can't right now. So. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you go first. Okay. Aha! Doesn't mean I don't have to turn one place! Shout out to Navigator's Compass for being surprisingly pay playable and also just causing a lot of stops on Arena. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should contact Twitch support. I did. If I lose, you'll redeem a horny deal as an honor bet. Cool. Well, I know you're not going to trade out your slime foot. He's too important to you. So I might as well get in for four. I can't do bets right now because my Twitch dashboard is broken. I emailed them about it. I have no idea why. It happens on both Chrome and Firefox, so I think it's just like a Twitch thing. How uh, much I can do? Oh, hell yeah. Kind of want to do attacks first in case they have like a reproach or something. Mods do it? Mods can do pulls, but I don't believe they can set up predictions. Alright. Opponent's still missing land drops. We take those. Hold on. Three, or sorry, four, seven, nine. I get him for 11 this turn? That'd be enough to get him to scoop. You've set up prediction with flash predictions. Hold on. Oh, it makes a little pop-up menu. Neat. Oh, so I can do it in like my own chat window. Great. Here we go. Real quick. 
Chat. Boom. Now you can do your predictions. And look, I already gave you the first win. You're welcome. A good start. I mean, opponent missed land drops. With a short sword? Hell yeah. Skittering Surveyor? More like I'm about to gain two life. Unless I don't draw a land, then it's three life. Three life it is. That kind of sucks. I was hoping to be able to get a land out so I can go Devon on Tramper, get both of them out, and then be able to go to short sword for some taps. But now I am the land screwed one. Sir. Block, you won't. We take those? What, did you look at the stream and then determine that I wasn't re worth it? Okay. Pure Intimidation. No, not four planes. Opponent goes first. Well, this is a slower hand, but at least we can play. Have some protection. We got a Journey Mage and this Juggernaut. Uh-oh. Looks like they go in blue-red wizards. If we see like an Adelie's, it's trouble. Yeah, I'll stick the extra one. To a Davenot Trapper. Better to get this out first, because then we can go Juggernaut, tap a thing, get in for three. Because this can still block for at least one turn. And then when we set that up to start swinging in and protecting it with Adamant Will and Gideon's Reproach. Okay. Dang, opponent's getting it all. And a sorcerer's wand? No. It is inevitability. Just play out what they know. 
They are down to two cars in hand. It's gonna be a tight one. We'll see if I can't stabilize. I think the Sorcerer's Wand might just be enough of a threat. I need my unicorn to start lifelinking. You're not it. I'm just dead now, right? Because they can just... Activate. Goblin Barrage! Okay. His opponent got all the draws. Eh. Well, you know, for not having any two drops. Not again. Two drop? Uh, slightly better. So if I can get aggressive and go journey mages, if I need to be defensive, I can go hauling golem. Oh, hell yeah. Never mind. We in there now. Fear me, opponent. Oh, they missed a land drop? Glorious day. Skidding Surveyor finds a land. Would be nice if we could be on the play. Sure, bud. Four colors. So I could equip the sword and put the Dragoni Mage to get more damage in, but I think being a little more mana efficient, just getting another creature out. It looks a little bit better. You draft all the legendaries? Just with a sword on. Get into there too. Is there a five color card in this set? I don't believe so. Not that I remember. So for those of you who don't know, Dominaria holds a special place in my heart. Because Dominaria was uh, the one time I got to do a pre-pre-release with the guys over at Loading Ready Run. You notice I order my hand by mana cost. I do that in real paper black matches too. I think so. Oh, they did it. They got all five colors. Damn. I mean, that kick would have been great. How badly do I want to keep that alive?
Would give him an empty board, bring him down to six. Yeah, I believe that's the correct aggro choice. There is board wipes, but you need to have a legendary creature out to do it. Probably didn't need to play out the Hollowing Golem. It probably would have been safer to keep that in my hand since I had... Well, I guess they can get more than one creature down. Yeah, I like that. There's dead on board now, right? Oh yeah, super dead. What set of this? This is Dominaria. You watched the commander battle over there? The one that I did, Meldon? We did, um... We did a brawl. That was like when brawl was first introduced as well. And wizards basically told them, you have to play brawl. So we're like, fine, and we did. All right, well, if we get a planes, it's ideal. Though, even a red lets me get my journey mages out. There we go. Alright. Now I do want a planes, though. No! Okay. Let me get my sword on, protected from more vicious offerings. Aha! Okay, I'm ready for the planes now. Sick. Non kicked Caligo Skin Witch. Here's a good sign. Have I played much D&D recently? Not super recently. I did last month. Maybe a little bit more than that. Just plays a gorger. So we're like, suck if that guy was dead, right? What's my favorite legendary creature? Crawl worm? Yeah. Legendary crawl worm. You know the one. All right, what tricks do you have? Deep freeze. Sweet. Let that resolve. See if they go for the double block. And then take them out. Artorius of the Abyss. Thanks for the resub. Top three pizza toppings. Pepperoni. Cheese. Lol. Pizza sauce. Is that a beta crawl worm? It is! That's why I did my protected sleep and everything. Level up! I'm 
A mastery orb, yeah! Two drop, some three drops. Oh, shall I? You're in the deck, right? What's the mastery orb for? There's like um like a mastery tree for each of the colors and allows you to basically unlock um card art, card styles. Rather than match Unicorn for Unicorn, I'm just going to take it, because I got a Howling Golem to stop this. I like pizza with pepperoni only. I remember my favorite pizza topping is just pepperoni, but sometimes we'll get like a Meat Lovers, where it's like pepperoni, salami, sausage. Green pepper on it. These are pretty good too. Ooh. I also got Journey Mage to Journey Mage. Do I eat the crust? Honestly, it depends on how much pizza is left. Like, if I want to eat a lot of pizza, I won't eat the crust so I can enjoy more actual pizza. If I got, like, a medium pizza to share with other people or whatever, then I'll eat my crust so I'm more full and there's more pizza available for other people. Okay, there's kind of throwing stuff onto the board. This screams Gideon's Reproach. They changed their mind. Yeah, I'd rather not play into that. Or even like an adamant will. Hexproof means the opponent cannot target them with spells or abilities at all. Deep freeze. Okay. This is actually still pretty good because I got a zero four blocker. So if I hit one more land, I can Keldon out Overseer. Let's see if we can't get the land. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Now that's a good steal option, though. Come on, baby. One land, let's go. Oh, uh, that'd be good. One land, let's go. Land. Land. Take the banalish monster, it'll be funny. Land. 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 Fuck. 
Man, it's still good, but fuck. Oh, man, I really want to do that. But I know this is just better. Dang it. It's just... It would have been good, you know? Less fun option, yeah. Ow, oh, now you show up. We call that disciplined magic. So we can take the sergeant at arms, because then they no longer have good blocks. I can get in for some damage, some card draw. Opponent could do some trades, but I still got a wall. Kind of bummed to think it to do that with the marshal. Interesting. I was kind of wondering if they would keep that alive or not, because then they could also draw cards off of it. Okay, I get in for five. They lifelink two back. I still have a wall. Go ahead and get rid of that guy. Looks like they're sandbagging lands right now. Ah, oh, first striker balls. Another one. It's okay. If I find a short sword <laughs> or Gideon's or approach. Or even just charge. Charge would be great too. Unless they block the overseer. Do it. I want you to. Do it. Do it. Okay. Still got a wall. I still have Warcry Phoenix, another Journey Mage, a land. So now if I just swing out, they could first strike one. They would take nine. Assume they got a trick. Take six. What does the little dragon do? Yeah, he's just a little guy. Just like a pet. We got two even sentries. What do I want? Raph Capuchin? You don't have lifelink or anything, do you? No? You're a 3 3 flyer. I also have another Keldon Warcaller. Or Keldon. No. That, that guy's the. Just the 2 2 for 2. 
he is much less helpful. This also seems like a really aggressive attack. I'm at 20. All that effort to destroy my wall? Lol? <laughs> we'll let opponent believe I had it the entire time. I go first. Whoa, curb out with this deck? Oh. It's a Richard Garfield miracle. Have nothing. Damn it. That's fine, because soon I shall fly! No blocks. Is this a race I see? So I think I actually sword up the Pegasus Courser to protect it from a wizard's lightning and or Shivan Fire. No blocks. You think I care how much I bleed? Two at a giant? What's your thing again? It's like, whenever it attacks, flip two coins. Both coins come up heads. Flip two coins, if both are heads, double strike. If both are tails, menace. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Miss it. Good, you get nothing. Oh, wait, you could have gotten double strike? That would have sucked. <laughs> All right, smart guy, now what's your plan? Well, if it attacks and gets Menace, I got double blocks for that. If it gets double strike, I have to chump. <laughs> Pro J leave, just, nah, I'm out. Heart of the coins? Missed it. I gotta go for it. 
Run amok? Frick. Alright. This match might be over. Opponent just gained too much life. My only way out of this is what, a fight with fire? Uh, if I had the mana to steal him, that'd be awesome. Deal three damage to me and one damage to each creature I control. To kill the Knight of Nubanalia. I'm going to Adamant Will to save it anyway. Yeah. All oh, right, I just took five in the air. I'm gonna freaking die. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, Blamo build report. Thanks for the resub. I would have needed some. Very lucky top decks in order to stop that. And the spells. Nervous Chaos, thanks to the resub. Will you be doing a lot of T Edition? I haven't played T Edition yet. It looks cool though. I just haven't gotten around to playing it. Corrosive ooze. More like corrosive snooze. Got him. Slime foot. You're not a wizard, are you? Nope, you're an angel. Takes a turn off to make a saprling? Hardly exciting now, isn't it? I don't think there's enough sapperlings in the world that's gonna stave off enough damage here. What are we playing? We're playing Dominaria. They have like a special Dominaria event going on right now. Oh, they got Kazarov. That's fun. Thanks for the card. That's why. Good top deck. Oh, wait, is this lethal? It is lethal! Alright, if opponent asks, I had it the whole time.
a Dominaria game is usually this fast? No. Dominaria is actually an incredibly slow format. Like, all the two drops are bad. There's no worthwhile one drops. And it's meant to be like super slow, grindy games. Which is why my aggro deck is doing so well. Because I think a lot of people who have not played Dominaria before are playing Dominaria right now because it's, you know, available and free. So usually people aren't prepared for the beatdown. I don't think I keep this. If I had a third land, yes. Better. Don't have a red source, though. All right. So for the best. We got there. Just kidding. Never not had it. All right, so if you do nothing for several turns, I'd be... Ah! Not that guy. That's fine. Lifelink still staves off the damage. Uh, this is our final boss, by the way. You don't attack? Interesting. There's this hexproof from white? Yeah. Or not. Here your juggernaut, gain some life. Try to keep me ahead in the race. When they did nothing? What are you afraid of? Takes a turn off? Phyrexian scriptures. Ooh. Turn two is destroy all non artifact creatures. See, now, this raises some interesting questions, because I could just swing in for all, because, like, they're about to die. If they do a block, I could adamant will and just kill the Knight of Malice, so then they've got nothing left on the battlefield. Or I adamant will in response to this to keep something alive. And they still got something down. Like, I could use it to keep the Warcry Phoenix alive, to have something still hitting in the air. That's a tough question. I think I might as well see what their blocks are. Doesn't kill the Paladin as well. It doesn't because the plus one, plus one counter made it into an artifact. So now this will only destroy all non-artifact creatures. I think we get in there. 
and see if they go for any blocks. And honestly, I think taking out everything they have is correct. Like, I'd rather they have an empty board. Well, they'll have a skittering surveyor, I guess. If I hit a land drop, I'll get Keldon Overseer's kicker. Ooh, gains three life from the Acolyte, though. What sucks is that this exile is my graveyard, so I have no way of getting my Phoenix back. I am at 24 life, so like... Oh, that sucks. Get stood in the Wind Grace Acolyte. They tapped on one of the flyers. I can check. Skittering Severe blocks Kelton Overseer. Get three to go down to nine. Kelton Overseer, kick it. Take the Skittering Surveyor. Attack with both. They tapped on the Saving Sanity Tree. Attack with both. They would just block Kelton Overseer if at all, or they would take four going on to eight. Uh, these really aren't great options either way. Yeah, this was the set that introduced sagas. I feel like I might as well attack with the Kelden Overseer. Get that Surveyor off the battlefield. I still have Fight with Fire in the deck. So I'll Fight with Fire. With two lands, allows me to blast the opponent in the face for lethal. Punch the bird. Man. I think I missed Gideon. I have Holling Golem still. Yeah, we'll play the lands out just because if I do find the fight with fire, that's my best out right now. I also still have four Gitu Journey Mages. Okay. Enemy existence? Thanks to the resub. They looking for something? I was gonna say they're probably looking for anything just to beat me with. Ah, uh, the Wind Grace act like it's them some life. Fuck. Maybe they'll play the Juggernaut instead. Unless you're watching the stream, you little shit. Play the Juggernaut. It's more damage. Coward. Fake. You're watching the stream, I knew it. It's the only explanation. 
Let's look at journey mages and a journey mage. Journey mage number one. <laughs> Nah, I'm right fucked. Can't really block because they just eat the Acolyte. Oh, Lingering Phantom. Forgot about this guy. Ha! Sword! <laughs> no. Alright. I did what I could. You know what? This aggro deck got six wins for only having three two drops. That's pretty good for a very subpar aggro deck. All right, let me have some gold pieces, everybody. Ba -doop. Okay. Well. Want to go back and do another Dominaria or... Go back to, uh... Kamigawa. While we do a booster pack opening! Because we just got one. Courtesy of Shadow2G who asked for a Final Fantasy booster. Shadow2G, do you want Final Fantasy Opus 15 or Opus 14? Which do you want? Fourteen, you got it. Opus fourteen, here we go. All right, take the uncommons and move them in front of the in front of the foil and the rare. Let's see what we got for you. We got, ooh, a Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2 White Mage. Lunith is a monk from Final Fantasy 3 DS. A bard from Explorers. A blue mage from 11, yeah. Original art blue mage. A time mage from Tactics Advance 2. Don Cornero. Sexy snake lady with snitties. High Dagger. And Kuja, just getting all the Shinra people. <laughs> all right, that leaves the... Nope, one more in common. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one more in common. One more in common. Whomst? Ilua from Advance 2? I don't know. All right. Foil rare and rare time. Your foil rare is a foil white mage. And your rare card is... Stern Leonis from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. War of the Visions. That's that tactic style. Brave Exvius. There you go. That's what you open up with your booster pack opening. Just oops all Shinra and some white mages. Thank you so much for your redemption. And now, back to magic. Oh, uh, did we decide if we want more Dominaria or back to Kamigawa? Dami baby? I knew it. Chat's nothing but subs. Neon is a really fun set. It is. Here's a hot take for you. Dominaria isn't that good of a draft set. I saw more Dom than I saw Kamigawa. So we'll go for it.
What's weird is that I know a lot of people really love Dominaria. The thing is, I enjoy Dominaria too, and I think the reason is is because it's a draft set for boomers. <laughs> it's a draft set for old people. Like, it plays super, super slow. Very grindy, like, the cards are kind of low power, the two drops suck. And I think because of that, people like it. Ugh. But, like, it's an overall draft set. It's really not that great. I kind of like the Archmage here. There's also an argument for Merfolk Trickster. Maybe it's just Merfolk Trickster. It's a little bit better. Let's do the Trickster. Ooh. Clouder Sphinx is excellent. Yargle build around. He explains exactly why I think Dominaria is a good draft set. Yeah, like, I've been playing Magic for a long time, too, so, like, it feels like just older Magic, just... The cards are generally, like, not very good. Look, look at this! Cabal Angel. This is a 2-2 two -two for 2. When's the last time you've seen a draft set just have a straight-up 2-2 two -two for 2? They almost always have abilities now. This is, like, one of the worst cards in the whole format. Academy Drake's really good, but Blink of the Eye is better. Hmm. No blue in here. Bear, though? I know. I mean... I also like bears. But for the most part, they, like, barely exist anymore. The power creep's getting kind of out of hand. Even Sentry Flyers. The toss-up between Even Sentry and the Man Sergeant at Arms. I could see either or. I personally... Blue's, like, the best color in Dominaria. And I already got, like, all super powerful blue stuff. Ooh. Dauntless Bodyguard versus a Pegasus Cursor. There is also just a Goblin Barrage. Not a great removal. Huh. I feel like Pegasus Cursor is a better aggressive card. I like the... I love Bodyguard. It's a late Journey Mage. Is there crabs in Dominaria? Isn't there like a 1-4 flash crab? I know there's a big hexproof turtle. Gita Chronicle is really good too. Hmm. These are both... Solid black cards. Crows and Druids, fine. Wow, okay. Back here we got the Davenant Trapper. There was a Pegasus Corsair right in here. Someone grabbed it. Soul Salvage is really good. I don't really care for the Thalidomnibor that much. The Soul Salvage completely wheeled around? Might just grab the Soul Salvage. Oh, there, yeah, there is a Hominid. That's right. There is a Hominid.
This is just stuff. Might just grab the navigator's compass. Gives us a splash option. These are all bad. Did I hear about the new Monkey Island game? I did! I've never played Monkey Island. But I know a lot of people love those games, so I think it's really cool. I've gotten many comments that I bear a more than passing resemblance to the Guybrush Threepwood. I kind of just want to take the rare for the gems. All right. Goblin Chain Whirler's real strong. Triple red, though. I do you like those journey mages? Safest pick would just be another blink of an eye. Yeah, any one of these passing around would kind of help let me know what direction I should go. If journey mage is open, I could try to go for mages again. But a second blink in of eyes just super good. Ah, two hit a giant. <laughs> Can pick up a settle the score. Gives me some unconditional removal. I could see Vidalin, Vidalin Arcanist wheeling around. Could do you want some two drops? Yeah, I'll grab that. Ooh. And it, oh, more lava runners and Okay, yeah, we're picking up Adelise. I'm doing it, chat. We going. We going mages. Opt versus divination. But I want to both. I imagine the cheaper option's better. There's Journey Mage number one. Big fan of Academy Drake. Pick seven, run amok. Are we, are we looking for wizards. Swung into red, two picks too late. I don't know. There was, there was a lot of worthwhile red kind of towards the end of the last couple packs. Ooh, also with Flame of Kel to refresh the hand would be too bad with this. Journey Mage wheeled around. Skizik is also pretty good, but we're going to focus on the mages because we got Adelie's. Do need more cheap wizards. What up, Glarbach? Welcome to the stream. Hey, two headed giant! <laughs> nah. We're gonna grab the Arcanist because it's another two mana wizard. And their colorless mana to add to instants or sorceries does help. Gitu Journey Mage number three. You'll love to see it. I think Wizards is wide open. If no one's picking up the Journey Mages, Wizards is open. Fight with Fire would be amazing. It would be good. I would prefer some Shivan Fires personally because they'd be cheaper. Weatherlight. 
What do you do again? But deals combat damage with the top five. Find a historic card. Crew three? Nope. Gichu Lava Runner, though? Yes. Memorial of Genius, Blink of an Eye, another Gitu Chronicler. Come on, another Blink of an Eye before my first Gitu Chronicler. With how much the Journey Mages have been wheeling around, it's possible this could wheel as well. This won't. But Memorial and Gitu both coming around would be great. Firefist Adept. Deal X damage to target creature X or number of wizards you control. Yes. Would you go opt or befuddle? The correct answer is probably opt. Again, just cheaper. Don't think I need fire intervention. I have three blink of an eye. Pick up another Gichu Chronicler, just to up the wizard count a little bit. Brings us up to 11 wizards. Is there a general idea of monsters versus spells ratio in the deck? In general, yeah. What do you do? When it's the battlefield, may exile a historic permanent. Bring it back. That doesn't seem super helpful. Let's grab another opt. I got the befuddle anyway. This deck looks fun. Um, yeah, Gary Hun. So when you're making your limited deck, whether it's draft or sealed, the general rule of thumb is you're you're gonna have 17 lands, right? So you generally want about 15, 16 creatures to eight, seven other spells. Oh hell yeah, that's a great pickup. That's kind of what it starts off at, but you can but like you know your two drops can be whatever. When someone says a two drop, that doesn't necessarily mean a two mana creature. It could be like a two mana removal spell. Because like as long as that matches your opponent's two drops, that's a two drop. So it never has to be super strictly. Like, you know, your two drop has to be a creature, or whatever. You can always tweak and adjust as needed. A cast historic spell. I ain't got any of those. I hope someone wanted this, because I'm taking it. But yeah, a good um, a good starting off point is 15 creatures, eight spells, and then you can always tweak and adjust your deck from there. Another run amok? Honestly, yeah. I think with as aggressive as the deck wants to be. And Fiery Eventual Intervention came around. I don't, still don't think I actually play it, though. I think I keep it, keep the deck cheap. You have to go down at least one land. You're going to be only going to cost four. You're not going to cost your whole five. I have too many mages for you to cost five. Kind of wish I had more of the um, the red mana can trips, but oh well. I think we drop the Drake. Do I keep the Cloud Reader Sphinx in there? I think I still do. It's still just super good. Cut Befuddle? I think I need a cut Flame of Keld. Reason being is that the Saga doesn't really combo with Adelie's. And if I cut that, everything else I have is instant speed, which is awesome. 
And I've got more than enough little tricks and cantrips to get through. Like, this is all worth cards. These are worth cards. This can be worth a card. These help me win combat. Drop not bring a Drake back. I don't, I don't know. I feel like Drake... Like, if I'm going to be playing mana, I want it to be one of my wizards rather than a Drake. Focus on the synergy. And if I get to the point where I need to pay seven mana for the Drake to make it bigger, I th the deck's already lost. Uh, even if I don't pick up the Adelies, we got a lot of a lot of aggression, a lot of value. Geetry Journey Mages are pinging in. If the deck were slower, like if I was if I if I had the Drake in there, the um this deck goes goes away from aggro and becomes a little more mid-rangey. And I don't want to be mid-rangey, like I want to focus on being aggressive. I like this deck. This looks fun. All right, chat, another prediction. Will this deck get four or more wins? Place your bets now. One dirty mage, trickster. One more elves? Three green mana, no play. No. Oh. Na 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 bump 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 They might have a trick for this. Which if they do, kind of a waste for them. Sure man. We'll get the Chronicle route first, because that'll make the Academy Journey made cheaper. And tempo's in pretty bad. If they're missing land drops, they probably want that out pretty badly. Stay down! Get you for two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Sirius Mojo. Those kind words. I appreciate it. Back when Dominaria was out, I was playing, um, when I was playing Standard, I was playing the Mono Blue Tempo deck. That was like Tempest Gins and Merfolk Tricksters. Only Islands. It was fun. I go first. Nah. Arguably better. Let me throw back. I'm leaning the Sphinx. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna throw back the Sphinx. Play under the assumption that I just don't draw any other lands. Used to play that deck as well. I haven't really played much standard, but I know DJN Gaming has a standard tournament this coming weekend. It's like a three or five dollar entry fee, something pretty cheap, and like top prize is like 250 bucks. How about practicing standard and entering it? Don't know if I have time to practice though. I got always deadlines. Plus that DGen Gaming has only had like 30 entrants, so it's not like a huge play field. Now I'm just gonna get you down now. Ugh. I think the deck's going to betray me. Let's draw a mountain right now. In the island. I could do it just for fun. Yeah, I could. It's another possibility because I haven't looked at standard in a long time. I might be fun to actually try it. And I've just been, you know, you know, it's kind of Jones in for competitive magic. I feel like they kept this guy back so he can double block. And I don't think just bouncing the Arcanist is right. Really not much value out of there. If I manage to get one more land so I can at least draw another card out of it, it's better. Okay, so I think what we'll do is next turn we'll draw two mountains. Why are you touching my islands? You didn't play your forests. Instead kept up your islands. Opt. Hello? No. Please? Okay. He likes the boomer art. <laughs> Shut up! Dark Bargain? Guardians of Koilos, bring back the Skittering Surveyor? Yeah, sure. I just need a draw. We got there! Ha ha! I'm online! Now I can start doing things. That's okay. Probably. Just to be mana efficient. My one weakness, hexproof. Oh yeah, you think they're splashing Muldrotha? Monatha, thanks for the resub. Do you have a counter? It'd be dumb for you to have a counter, right?
Second journey mage. That's a lot of attackers. Now you can be cute, play your Koilos, bounce back Skittering Surveyor and get another land. Would be cute. You're doing it, combos. There we go. This actually gives me, unless the Cold Water Snapper blocks one of the smaller ones, I can kill the Cold Water Snapper. Fervent Strike gives a creature plus one plus oh, at least gives another plus one plus one. And they have First Strike, so Cold Water Snapper dies. Take out the Guardians of Coelos. Oh yeah. Oh, super good. You love to see it. Boom! In before board wipe. Dude, the sword and shield gym battle, battle theme is so freaking good. They do have eight mana. Day jam. Look at that. Even after stumbling on reds, we got there. This is surprisingly slow. I think I got mulligan it. Oh, beautiful. So much better. Spider-Man meme. Gonna start the aggression, push damage through. Get one spell into the graveyard so get you Lava Runner. Gonna start getting this plus one plus oh. Could bounce and save it. See if I can't find some lands, huh? You're syncopating the opt? That can't feel good. Do you have Dominaria drafts again? Yeah, Dominaria drafts is available for like the rest of the week, I think. Ah, oh, game, you're killing me. Got him. I mean, right now I'm winning the race.
can't keep doing nothing. I'm not happy about it, but gotta do something here. Dak! I have a 50% chance of drawing a land. There's 28 cards left in the deck. I've got two out of 16. It's easy. You just draw the land you need. Am I allowed this one? Ah! <laughs> Dak! What is happening? <laughs> uh, do you ever run amok? Oh, okay, so I should go fuck myself. Dear Diary, it is turn eight, and I am still stuck on two lands. We did it. Okay. Okay, so, so far our only loss is when the deck just wanted a little breaky for the deck. Just didn't want to play it. Okay, there we go. We got an Opt and a Merfolk Trickster. These are things I can do. Opt into an Opt? Opt first. If I find a Gitu Lava Runner, we can gain for some extra damage. Uh, fire for setup, sorry, too. So now we'll probably go blink of an eye, bounce whatever they play. I'll get a card out of it. Ooh, even better. Journey Mage it. Sucks that people are fine with it happening a third of the time. I mean, that's just part of magic, though, Lucio. Because when it happens to me, you know, that sucks. But when it happens to your opponent, and then you get to win a match and otherwise you couldn't win, then it's exciting. And that's what, uh, that's all part of the variance. It makes it so that it's possible for anyone to be able to win a match that they would otherwise couldn't. Don't really want to bounce the Acolyte. Because then you just gain more life. Just trample through. Sapperlings. Make your choice, Jedi.
Oh, those sapperlings for naught. You don't want to win that way, but I mean, if you're playing in a high match tournament in the semifinals, and if you win this round, you go from winning $2,000 to $5,000. You'll take whatever win you can get. Sometimes you top deck a land or sometimes you just draw a spell you don't lead. There's variants in Uno. There's variants in Go Fish. There's variants everywhere. How's the break from YouTube? Oh, I'm living it up. I'm, uh... Going to beaches, taking all my YouTube dollars and just... Fucking off. No. Uh... Probably shouldn't have kept this hand. Never mind, be good. Nice 2-2, two -two nerd. Ooh, actually, this is better. Pew you for two? Aggressive attack. Whoop. My goals, they want to bring that Knight of Malice back down. Not great for Fervent Strike since they'll just trade out with the Journey Mage. Run amok, however. Can I win this race? I think I gotta attack because Run amok only works on attacking creatures. Unkicked, which feels bad, but we got so much stuff. And then both of these end up being better books. Frenzied Rage. Hmm. Well, now I wish I kicked back the blink of an eye. A jousting lance? Alright, I'll find some. One second. Hold on. One second. One second. Hold on. That's another land. Hold on. Uh oh. Throw the lance on the war caller. Or even the sapperling allowed you to trade through. I'm not gonna block the Knight of Malice. Ooh, you get first strike as well? Ooh. That's right, as long as it's your turn to get first strike.
Okay. No! Don't gain life! Be scared. Damn it. <laughs> I think I still made the right choices there. Double blocking, taking out a uh, sapperling. Feels bad. Oh, why deck? Come on. Oh, no. There are cheaper cars in here. They're killing me. If you play Banelish Marshall, I swear to God. I think I just take the hit, because if I draw a land, it does give me a blink and a eye. Crick Draw Law, thanks for gifting out a sub to Professor Miltank. Just draw lands, right? Dub? The bright note is they, they missed their land drop. Maybe I can find one of my own. Nope. Quick draw also give you guys out to Medieval Chaos. A stop with one mana up. Do you have healing grace? Keep some mages out, because then I can get a Firefest Adept for a little bit more damage. Opponent is stumbling on Lance. Why do you keep having a stop with one mana up and you're doing nothing with it? One more land. Oh, we can work with that too. Bouncy. They're stuck on three planes. So I'm doing some like really awkward control magic here, but it is working. There you are. Get rid of that first striker. Yeah. There we go. So between blink of an eye and a narc and a G2 journey mage, should be okay. Was it Sparring Construct? 
Were you sleeping in mana for a sparring construct the whole time? How do I want to win? Blicken of Eye plus Runamuck? Quick draw bits as well! Thank you, Quick Draw! I appreciate it. Guess it doesn't really matter where I put it. But you're the most stupid, so. Oop. Slightly awkward, but we got there. <laughs> it was an odd game, I agree. Hey, managed the fourth win. You love to see it. This deck seems really fun. It is fun. Blue Red Mages, I think, was one of the Probably the best deck in Dominaria. Facing a lot of gold players. We're all the tryhards back on Neo. It's another awkward keep. Uh, we got the Arcanist at least, so we can set up a Blink of an Eye, Blink of an Eye or Gitu Journey Mage. There we go. <laughs> Lands acquired. You wouldn't shivin that, would you? What a waste of a shivin. Not gonna block, so I might as well get in. Here. Would I ever play Yu-Gi-Oh? I have played Yu-Gi-Oh before, yeah. There's actually a Yu-Gi-Oh playthrough over my gameplay channel that, quite frankly, I'm proud of. Um, I actually tried that new Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit. The, um... What is it? The, the, like, the new Yu-Gi-Oh that's basically Arena. That probably wasn't the right choice. Master Duel, thank you. Some goblin, which is a 2 2. I 
I've got five mana to work with. I think I want to deal with this ideally. Super sure I played that out right. So Merfolk Trickster, the Juggernaut. Never mind. This makes it you don't have to sacrifice it at the beginning of the end step. Really, opponent? You're at seven. And you're... You, you think you can live? Now you're... Not your best block. Your best attack. That's a very, very greedy attack. Really miss my bad game reviews? I just did one in December, though. Did you not watch the Spider-Man and X-Men one? Or did YouTube not show it to you? It wouldn't surprise me if YouTube didn't show it to you. But if that's the case, you'll like my next video. YouTube do be like that, it's true. Would I call that block impatient? I don't know what I would call that block. I would call it a mistake. Ooh, I like you, but I think you might be a bit too slow. Especially when the opponent's already dropping a key to Lava Runner. Review of Star Tropics? Yes. Mono red? Ooh. They doing it. Run amok here would be pretty bad. Well, if you got it, show me. There we go. Yeah, also if you join the Discord, then you'll always know when I put out a new video. Because it tells you. Don't love bouncing the Gitu Journey Mage since it allows them to replay and ping me for another two. But I might need it for a tempo play. Might just be fuddle it instead. Save myself some damage. I still cast Blinken of Eye with the Arcanist this way. Uh, 
How did I land? Okay, deck. They're stuck on three lands. I feel like I'm stuck on too many. Okay. Where are my dudes? There's a dude. Go trade these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stabilize against this. I got Firefist Adept at the bottom. Who would be the most helpful? I can't keep bouncing the Journey Mages because he would just keep hitting me. Alright. Please? Yes. I wonder if I should have done that after the declared blocks, just to see if we can trade out with the journey mage. I had that thought too. So what would help me the most? Even another Gitu Chronicler to kick? I mean, it's another two damage, but at least keeps their presence off the board. I'm trading a little bit of life for that. <sighs> now I'm not down to nine. There we go. This two extra damage is gonna make a big difference. Oh, they found their blue. Ooh, how much does this change? A little scary. Like a Natalie's drop would be pretty brutal. If I drop Gitu Journey Mage, they go down to seven. I attack with both. With a run amok, that's threatening and lethal. It would force blocks. But if they still have a, uh, their own blinking eye, it's kind of scary.
Or if they go no blocks. You go down to four. Gichu Journey Mage you. Do another two. Gichu Journey Mage. Do another two. Did I just get him? Pew pew! Pew! Never not had it. It was super close though. I believe they were holding on for uh I think they had a blink in my eye. Cause they wanted to see if I would like run amok or something and they would respond with blink. Final boss! Uh, I'll opt into a creature. This Electro Swing version of Rama's theme is so good. Sure is. I have all my blinks. Great. Ah, not good enough. <laughs> yeah. Day ramping. I'm not opposed to blinking just for some... Tempo. Maybe I should have blinked this. Second Elfheim Druid. I see that Mammoth Spider, and I'm going to blink it for days. Oh no, I need another blue source. Oh shit, never mind. Uh, I'll just find a blue source. Oh no, I can still make it work. Fervent Strike with Blinkin' of an Eye? Yeah, I can make it work. Put my land down first. Oh well. Brings the mammoth back. Pump. This is looking good. They just really want that mammoth spider down, damn it. No. Bring you down to six. I think we just play out the Yigi to Chronicler because this is another guy that can pump with run amok and blink of an eye. I think opponent's just dead. I guess go play the Firefest Adept. Deal before damage to something. If I draw another land, I can then blink or run amok. 
pump the squad again. That's fair. Oh no, you put down your defenses. You. Trophy, baby! Level up! Uh. Uh. Turns out Adley's with oops, all blink of an eye. It's pretty good. Hell yeah. So one of our losses was getting from completely land screwed. And was the other loss the same thing? Hell yeah. Majex, good. Which means everyone who believed in the deck, who should have been everyone. Oh, hey, Mythic qualified. This is for last season, not right now. I did it. Hold on. Oh, I got the email. I ranked 560 in March. It's this weekend? It's this weekend and it's alchemy? I don't know if I wanna or if I can. In that order. Man, I don't know if I can do it, chat. Not worth? I don't think it's worth. I don't like alchemy. Look at all the things I got. Two, like, I don't know if I can commit time this weekend to playing Magic. I would rather do the D-Gen Standard event. Here, look at that real quick. Hold on. Like, I think I would have more fun playing that. Let me go look at... Let's see. Yeah, DJ Open. First place is $250 cash, 3,000 gems, and a Streets of New Capenna Championship Invitation, which is the same as the Alchemy event. Second place is cash, gems. Third and fourth place is cash and gems. Fifth to eighth place is 50 bucks. Anyone who gets a top eight, they're giving away some door prizes. Like, I'd rather do that. There's only 35 players in there out of 256. And that's standard. And that's also this weekend. Hmm. Is that weird? Like, I would rather do... Seems like a nuts prize pool for such a small event. I think it's a great prize pool for a small event. And I think I would enjoy it more than playing goddamn Alchemy. Though I haven't really... haven't looked at Standard in a hot minute, though. Like, I did the Historic Open. I think there's an Alchemy Open this month, too. 
Hold on, let me look at something. What are people playing in standard right now? Go look at the power rankings. Thanks, Reed Duke. I think black white control was like up there with like Lolf and stuff. Uh, ooh, no, move to second. Now there's a planeswalker. Blue, white, black planeswalker. What does that look like? Maybe fall out of standard first round, do alchemy for the memes. Well, the thing is, is like... The, um... For alchemy, you have to, like, wake up between 6 and 8 a.m. Pacific. Enter your deck. And then you only have until, like, 5 p.m. of the day to, like, get all your matches done. So if I did the other standard one, I wouldn't have time to get the alchemy one done. Alright, so what's the Planeswalker one look like? Sorin, Wannery Emperors, Lolths, Meat Hook Massacres. Yeah, it looks like it's just a very, very long game to win. It's got Reckoner Bankbusters. I guess that's also something to beat down with while drawing cards. Interesting. I don't know if I like that. Alchemy seemed like a good idea in theory. Well, I feel like the problem with their alchemy is, uh, I'm gonna switch to Neon Drowning to draft, by the way. The problem with alchemy is that I don't think they knew what they wanted it to be, because at start, it was supposed to be rebalanced standard, which, okay, sure, cool. But then they threw in a bunch of alchemy cards that only work in alchemy because it would only work in the digital format. Like the seek cards and draft cards and all that, which is like, uh, okay, I mean, like, it's not exactly standard, but I guess it's close enough. But now they're saying that the... Now they're saying that the, like, new commander cards are also going to be legal in alchemy. And at this point, it's just like, what the hell is alchemy supposed to be then? It just seems like weird historic. You love drafting, but it's so hard to maintain through gems. What is the best mode to maximize your gems? Amir, there's actually a really, really good YouTube video about that by MTG Nerd Girl that talks about the Magic the Gathering economy. And she shows a bunch of videos and statistics and things that you can do that will allow you to maximize your economy, whether it's through drafts or events or whatever, just to be getting gold, getting... Um, getting gems or what have you, getting packs. So search MTG Nerd Girl on YouTube and check out her uh, Magic Economy videos. All right. So we got to shift mindsets because we got... We got some Kamigawa going on here. My first thought is Generous Visitor. Is green still a super overdrafter right now? I had a 7x samurai deck the other night. Red white samurai has actually played out really well. I think generous visitor is the best option. I'd be fine with any one of these greens coming back around. Spirit of companion would also be great, but we'll do a generous visitor. People just not been liking the ogre head helm i think it's a cool card but i guess getting in there with it's kind of difficult freaking naomi is excellent maybe i just take the ogre head helm if red ends up being open Fall of Lord Conda. Been less impressed by that card. The red cards are bad. Geothermal Kami's alright. 
I like the Dockside Chef. I know some people have been down on it, though. Plus, it is another enchantment. Okay. There we got an Azusa, a Terrarium, another Fang of Shigeki. I think I'd almost rather pick up my first Fang than my first Azusa. Both these artifacts are super good, too, though. There's another Naomi, another Dockside Chef, another Fang. Might pick up the Naomi, because if we end up green-white or green-black, or even white-black, Naomi's just super good. I'm going to grab her as a like, speculative pick. Uh, Air of Enlightenment's fine. So the Tamiya is safekeeping. Grab the Era. Bamboo Grove Archer. Get a little bit deeper in green. These are all less exciting. There's Befriending the Moth, but that's like a very aggressive card. Just grab it. Okay, so here's our wheels. We still have a Wanderer's Intervention, which there was only other one white card in this pack, and no one else took it. Which says to me, white is open. So I think I want that. Harmonious Emergence. Tales of Master Shishira were both not in there, though. Or the Fang, right? There was a Boon, Kunai, like the Moonsnare prototype. Yeah, it might be a lot of people picking up green right now. Second Naomi. Jukai Trainee is just kind of fine filler. Suck at Naomi, though. Repel a vial. Dual land. Artificer, no. I don't think we're playing the Ogre Head Helm. These are just all bad. I am Josh. Thanks for the resub. Definitely keeping our option out. What about third Naomi? That's too many Naomi's. Narika's okay. I think the dual land might be better. In case I end up green. In case I end up splashing. Yeah, I think I want the dual land. There's another Nurika, Containment Construct. Ooh, there we go. Rokiva and Twisted Embrace. I got my first Twisted Embrace. I might lean more into, like, black-white. Which, that's the case, I do need to pick up some artifacts, because right now I don't have any. My first searchlight companion. Spirited companion. Golden Tail Disciple is just kind of okay. I like the City Scrounger personally. I mean, I could just cut green altogether. Oh, we get past Virus Beetle? Oh, black is super open to my left. Okay. There we go. There we go. Just grab that as another artifact choice. There's a lot of white available, too. Yeah, if I could find some um, some of the Artifact Ninja black cards with the beetle, it'd be ideal. Oh, 
Look at this. More spirited companion, please. And the Naomi still wheel. No one's in black white. That said, is it correct picking up a third one of her? I guess maybe that's better than a lethal exploit. How many how many Naomi's would you play when they're legendary? I would lean the lethal exploit just because. Oh, there's one in the pack afterwards. Damn. Yeah, it's all this kind of stuff. So we still want to find none of these. Kami of Secrets would be ideal. Kami of Restless Shadows, less good. I want to pick up the Nizumi Prowler just because it needs more artifacts. Even though I really want the Okiba J Reckoner raid. There's a lot of fine cards I could wheel around. The Megazord. If I was that much deeper into artifacts, maybe, but I don't have enough. Intercessor's Arrest is okay. Also, don't mind the Kunai. Hopefully, Kunai wheels. There's another Beetle. Uh, we have a Twisted Embrace and Intercessor's Arrest. Two targets for one Shrine Steward is right where I want to be with that. So, Shrine Steward can come in. So, another artifact, too. Second Izumi Prowler? Do I like it more than a Chain Flail Centipede? Probably. Let's get a filler. Mm, there's a dual land. I think I want the Burning Slash more, though. That's so many Naomi's. But what do four Naomi? I mean, the Sunblade's the better choice. I also don't hate the Searchlight Companion, because I, not like I picked up some ninjas, but... That's so many Naomi's. None of these are going to make the deck. Get a golden tail. You can run five in draft? Yeah, you can run as many as you have in draft. The thing is, like, if it wasn't a legendary card, I would consider it. But because it's legendary, it makes it much more difficult. The Imperial Recovery Unit actually might go great with this deck, with two beetles and two spirited companions. It is another artifact that actually could get some value. I'm going to take out the Befriending the Moths. Just not a fan of that card. I don't really have a reason to play Containment Constructs. We know there's filler artifacts. Don't need them.
Can we go down the lethal exploit? Arguably a wanderer's intervention. I guess the only time like the containment contractor would be like cute is with the Sunblade Samurai, but that's a lot of mana to make that work and that's not really worth it. I think go down the Artificer. I like it. Looks good. Ray Ray Senpai, chew your resub. Thank you, Ray Ray. Chad, if you aren't already following Ray Ray on Twitch, you are missing out. We love and stand her. Hopefully we can outvalue your opponents. Ready to predict chat? Will this draft get four more wins? <laughs> the, the deck should do great. We have virus beetles, right? Fucking love that beetle. You love to see it. Plus a ninja. Too bad about those Akiba Reckoner raids, because then we can really get it aggro. That's okay. Now, if they have the life of Toshiro Umizawa, that's trouble. Yay, point of life. That's actually a really good arrest target because it also can't activate its abilities. Long reach of night. I'll show you. Oh man, I don't have a... Oh no, I do have an enchantment. Ha ha! Take that! I'll brought some trades. I think they want to keep all of these alive. So I'll attack with Norika, recast, long reach good night, and then I'll repel it. Well, Circumender's good. There we go. Dockside Chef. You can sack the City Scrounder and get another card out of it. 
Befriending the moths. That's a choice. Awesome, but at least gets rid of some car draw engines for anything else to kind of take down. Also makes befriending the moths kind of worthless. Putting a lot of effort into Sunblade Samurai finishing out the game, though. I guess use Dockside stuff to sack the virus beetle into something better. Show me. Touch the spirit realm and blink it. Just let it go. Because now I got a 4 4. A virus beetle, no! Got you. You fool! Can I find anything else? There's your girl. Oh, I just sacked my one artifact. Rip. <laughs> Probably need to keep the land in hand. Just because if the opponent has more virus beetles, which is possible. Could also just drop a big butt. What do I need here? Any of my artifacts? Which I have quite a few. Hello, opponent. Is Voluptuous behind a problem? Yeah. I can't get around this big butt. I can only go through it. Oh, we got there. Look at that. An artifact. And a chump blocker. Okay, so now we really want to keep the searchlight companion alive, because if we can have Naomi start popping off and pooping out babies. Bum, 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 oh, oh. Not even in jutsu, just playing it out. I think I'm going to eat. My token. I don't know. I'm going to play her out next turn. That'd be good. Ooh. I don't have any auras left in the deck. I've already played them all. So you're just a guy. Okay. Drawing up some cards. Drawing up some cards. Oh, 
Hold on. Do I have a way of winning just by attacking? One, two, three, four. They would go down to two. That's not great. Here, shuffle my deck. Search out a companion still my only... My only artifact. I oh, know I got Shrine Steward out now. Hooray! Five blockers. Seven attackers. I'll make an extra creature. I would have Nizumi Prowler options. To death touch something. I am at 19. Well, let me do a scry first. Let's look here. Yep. I was going to say, that's a weird double block. So what do I want dead the most? Probably just their thick boy. Okay. I had six unblocked with the ninja. Oh, did they? I didn't math that part. I was just trying to get him. Big butt be gone. You know what? An all white tan? We can work with it. And we got our black source. Did you block? All right, well, because he didn't block, now I need something to block any potential ninja shenanigans. Searchlight Companion. Yep. Yeah. 
Ugh, you're gonna ninja something. I'll allow it. I guess. Spirit Companion is the best card in this set. I don't know. Virus Beetle's pretty good, too. Spirit Companion is a good girl. But this little Manchi Beetle's hungry. Really? No ninja? Hateful. Well, now that I know they don't have a ninja, I could take out their Reckoner Raid. Nah, I'll just match some beetles. Hidesugu? That's a good card. Sure would be a shame if he stopped existing. I can hit one more land, I can Golden Tail Disciple, crew up the Imperial Recovery Unit, and get back probably Spirit to Companion, because I'm just getting some rough draws right now. Ooh, actually this works out great. So we go Golden Tail Disciple, crew up, attack, We'll grab back Spirit of Companion. And if they block all, we ruin their whole day. No! You dick. That was a good top deck. Just luck light. Fix the resub. Play the card they know. Crew up. Attack. I don't have any beetles in there. That's too bad. Ninja? Is it a big butt? Well. That's damage. How important is the thief? Or the treasure? Bark, bark! Land to land. How's the matches going? There have been some really good matches today. I've, um... Did we... What was our first draft? What did that draft end at? I don't remember. It's 
So I know the second one, we 7 x Was it 6 and 3? That sounds right. Treasure would have been good for them if they didn't bite it. Yeah. Just glad I took care of that when I did. Yeah, so we went 6 and 3, 7 and 2. This is our first... Um... Suit up? Nope. This is our first Kamigawa draft of the day. Should I play this out? Two dead cards in hand. I got him dead on board. I guess. Any reason I stopped doing the scoreboard? I didn't want to do it anymore. Oh yeah, we, we black white Naomi's. I go first. Ugh. Okay, we're just gonna play it slow and steady. Let's take out any crap opponent throws at us. Maybe we can get some virus beetles. Got him. You already started in Sandoria, so the song is nostalgic. Best doc for life. We could have had four Naomi's. I know. I think two is the correct amount, though. Land. shall crab it? Well, I'm going to force you to decide if you want to use your menace counter to get rid of my one drop. You're right, but the memes... It's not even necessarily a meme at that point. I'm getting a lot of lands, by the way. Did I buy physical Eon Dynasty? Yep. I usually buy a few boxes before I, uh... Don't love that either. I almost always buy, um, actual cards a bit. Because every now and then I actually do like playing Constructed. I don't think they would.
I don't love this. But like I'm getting no other interaction and they just bring lethal exploit up to dealing minus three minus three to something. Just main phases to the Tanuki. Must have a uh, season of renewal or something, right? Yep. There we go. Eh. Cash him in right away for something. Got a favor of Jukai. That's hateful. My end. We will keep playing on our lands though, because we got spirited companions in the deck. Tales of Master Shishiro for no value. Beetle! Now we got enchantments and artifacts. So come on, Naomi. What tray am I on now? I'm on tray. I just started tray 12 this morning. Is it weird to say the movement is noticeable or ask my tongue feel the difference? I don't know about my tongue yet. I feel like sometimes when I bite down, it feels different. Um, I actually just noticed yesterday that there is a noticeable gap between these lower right teeth down here. Like, I could see through it. I thought that was weird. Alright, Naomi, we are ready. Let's go. Damn it. We still have Repel the Vial in the deck somewhere to take out. Maybe the Flyer? Or I take out their 5-5. Five five. I don't know. But I think this Tooth is moving out to the side to make room for these bottom ones to straighten out. All right, Dak, we've had enough lands. Oh, double behold. Opponent living the dream. And besage you? Jeez. I might be too flooded out at this point. Land. Gotta repel the vial to stop one of them. Shrine steward to intercessors or rest to stop another. I've played out both my beetles. Colossal sky turtle now? Jesus. Opponent's also 10 cards deeper into their deck than I am. Web Spinner Cuff? Do people actually like this card? It always just kind of looked bad to me, like a sideboard card at best. Opponent's got 11 out of 17 lands. That tracks. Treasure! What's your ward cost too? Yeah.
Maybe I can get the opponent to deck before I die. That's a lot of damage in the air. If I don't block, I go to three. If I do block, I go down to eight. Oh, also they have an 11 11. Red Spinner is weird in this deck because of all the flying and reach they already have. I agree. It does seem just weird to me. All right, companion, companion. Ugh. Land. Okay. Oh, we flooded out. Opponent got to pop off. Yeah, I could see them playing the web spinner if they had, um, if their deck didn't have answers for flyers and they just wanted to make sure they had something in there. But, like, he had a lot of flying and a lot of reach already. I don't know. I go first. And we've got an enchantment and an artifact. Sometimes that's all you can ask for. There's another one. We're like more. I just go Sarah. Or not Sarah, Searchlight. When I stopped using Sarah as my avatar, after I did the decathlon event and won this new Flex Jace avatar. Clone Trooper Kev, Captain got a sub to trust me, I'm the spy. Seems to be kind of playing really mediocre artifacts. I'm gonna keep a land in hand. They've been representing enough. They played a virus beetle. So I wanna be able to discard to a virus beetle if I can. So chat, I was talking with Jadale last night and um, I don't know if you guys saw, but Star City Games announced um, new new Star City Game Con events, which is awesome. Do you have like a lethal exploit or something? Come on, Also gifting us up to Iris. They were like Baltimore. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, and Syracuse, New York, I want to say. They haven't really announced the formats or anything like that yet, but we were talking about, like, maybe kind of wanting to go to them. Even if, like, we don't play the main events, they're just side events. 
But I also was like, I don't know. If they played, if they did a standard event, I would consider just playing the standard just so I could. Just to kind of like, I don't know, man. Get back to playing some heckin' organized competitive magic, you know? Ah, well, land's not what you want to see. Dak, there's so many good things in you. I need you to show up for me. Baltimore say? Yeah, they didn't say dates or anything. No dates, no formats yet. They exist. Dude, this would gain a lot of life. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna block a Spirited Companion, because then I can Imperial Recovery Unit next turn, drop another card, make a treasure with the Undercity Scrounder. Or they do nothing. This will gain seven life. Okay. We got there. So we can play out the Naomi. They will probably Dragon Spark Reactor her, but we would still have a 2 2 afterwards, so we're ahead in that exchange. And I know I got more Naomi in the deck. Organized competitive magic. Well, the Star City Games ones were. Jesus Christ. The Star City Games ones were um, not affiliated with Wizards, they're just like their own things, their own prize pools. We'll put on Naomi. Because then she can attack in. If I take out the Mokotai Ambusher, it would force them to do double block to stop her. Or I take out the Hidesugu now. Probably just the Hidesugu. Just a little. That's a tough choice, though. And again, I'm fine with trading these up because I'm still getting two twos out of the deal. Yeah, they could have sacked their own Hisuga in response. That's a 5-4. I forgot to attack with my own Searchlight Companion for another point of damage. I also missed a thing. Now it's a 6-5. Land. Top decking playable things off your one red.
I should have thrown enough blocks in there to kill it. Dragon Spark Reactor was down. Yeah. Land. Okay. Now, I do need to watch out for the fact that they're representing six damage with the Dragon Spark Reactor. One, two, four, five, nine. No, nope, don't quite add it there. I'm gonna start getting low in life. It is possible I draw something that can disable the Dragon Spark Reactor. But if they leave their mana up for it, not many opportunities there. Or I could get another fucking land. Hear me out. Oh, that sucks. So if they get one more... Nope, there we go. Now, at this rate, I'm just dead to Simeon Slings. Unless I get... I've played both my Golden Tail Disciples. Yeah, I think it just flooded out again. It's kind of damned if I do, damned if I don't. I lived, bitch. And opponent's just getting all playable spells. God damn, dude. Yeah, I just flooded out something fierce. Okay. Thank you, deck. Did I even get to beetle that round? Beetle, beetle. One more land gets me a search like companion. Sure. It's still not like an awesome opening hand deck. You could do better. Don't touch my guy. I will take the two. They have a cap attack wrecker. Or an ambusher. I'm okay with that too. Ah, 
Okay. Yeah, if I get one more land of any color, I can Shrine Steward. Probably get Twisted Embrace. It's probably the way to go, because even if I get a Plains, I can only play out one of them. So if I get a Plains, I still want to go Shrine Steward. We'll go double blocks on the Ambusher. I'll be fine with losing these guys. Take out their lifelink. Or, I'll just draw it. No lifelink. Maybe check out Magic Battlegrounds for the Let's Play channel one day. I do have it. I think I know what I'm going to do for the gameplay channel. I already got next week's set. Week after. I think I know what I'm going to do. Remember when you ditched that land? Got him. Go Shintai. This is fine! 32% chance to draw planes? That's not very good. Another ninja? Gloom Shrieker? Get back, what, the Jukai trainee? Or your land? The land's a real possibility. Nope. Oh, Kami. Okay. Come on, baby. Land. Hey! We alive! In a just world, I'll be able to take out the Gloom Shrieker so that they can't play a Geothermal Kami to bounce it back and get some shenanigans out of it. This is playing around a uh, Master's Rebuke.
And again, I want the Gloom Shrieker dead. Because that, being able to bounce back to the opponent's hand and continue to get stuff from the graveyard is way worse right now. Just play it out so you can play the Kami after, draw a card. Do you think they had the black? I think they had the black one in there somewhere. a card. <laughs> Found her. Could greedily go Spirited Companion because if I hit a land, I can still play her as well, but we're just gonna... I need to get this value now. Now, opponent also has one green source. So if they got a handful of green cards and they can still only drop one a turn, that does help us quite a bit. Because they're not double spelling and flooding the board faster than I can respond. It's gonna be okay. get this attack in so I can get another 2-2. Two, two. Any shenanigans they could do from here is fine because I'm getting creatures out of it and stabilizing. This goes return to action? Okay. I'm okay with that because I got the first striker. Naomi? Damn it. Alright. Let's get my board nice and thick. opponent probably doesn't have the whiteboard wipe. I don't think so. I think it's safe to assume that I don't either. Dragon Kami Reborn? Is that the egg one? Egg one's not very good. Although the egg one can be good if you got ways of killing it yourself, I've found. I actually kind of fear them being able to destroy the Intercessor's Arrest. And being able to attack with the Ghost Shintai. I do have a lot of blockers, though, so maybe it's not as bad. We'll watch out for any kind of long reach of night or something, so we'll keep a planes in hand. Exiling the Blossom Prancer. Doesn't do a whole lot for me because they still have a 3-4 to block with.
Does this game have cards from all Magic seasons? No. It has cards from about... Starting around, what was it? Like, Ixalan forward? Do I exile that? Do I exile that? Um, yeah, Amonkhet's in there too. Well, they did Amonkhet Remastered, which also has some Hour of Devastation. Land. This game is playing out super awkwardly. Banishing Slash would also be huge. Oh, I said Exelon, that's on Kaladesh. They have Kaladesh remastered. Interesting that they're also afraid to attack. Iron Apprentice? Land. What do I need? Another Naomi would be massive. Burning Slash. Imperial Recovery Unit. They have seven lands down, eighth one in the graveyard. There's a good chance at least one of these cards is a land. Potentially more. Again... If they have like long reach of night or something similar, I want to be able to discard cards to it. I mean, we've, I guess we've gummed up the board okay uh, at this point if like, they're still not attacking. Is this standard? No, this is a, uh, this is draft. Just been a really, really weird match. Maybe they're not attacking because they're watching the stream and they see the repel. You wouldn't do that, right, opponent? You wouldn't be straight up cheating like that? Ixalan was your reintroduction to magic? Mine was Kaladesh. So I stopped playing at a OG Kamigawa. Okay. Got another land. That's cool. Should have grabbed the third and fourth Naomi. You were right, chat. Damn it. It'd be so good right now.
Uh oh. Did they not know what to do anymore because I called them out on stream sniping? Should I play under the assumption that they are stream sniping? Nah, just grab another land. Okay. Watch me! I will wait you out. You have less cards in your deck than I do. I will wait 17 turns. Oh boy. If they're gonna stream snipe, the least they could do is give me a Twitch Prime stub. Right? At least make it worth my while. Block like that. I'm better my stuff not die, but sweet. Fox Trot. Thank you for the Twitch Prime resub. Glad you're enjoying the Mega Man gameplay. Ninjutsu into the Dokuchi Silencer. This might make it a little more worth it. Keep more of my creatures alive so the Dokuchi Silencer gets worse. They still have to discard a creature card to kill something. Unless they really just want to play the spirit to draw another card. Because it's not just any card. You have to discard a creature card. Oh, Tanuki. Ah, oh, I don't have my artifact anymore. Rip. How many artifacts do I have left in the deck? I got the... Oof. The vehicle. The scrounger. And the three one ninjas. The vehicle would be awesome here. Bearer of memory? That's a guy. You have to put on enchantment creatures, which doesn't give you a whole lot of options. But you could be cute and put on the dragon commie eggs. Player land, it's okay. We know you have it. No, I'm gonna act like you don't. Okay. Do I have any more dogs in the deck? 
Yeah, I do. Careful cultivation. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen lands left in the deck. I don't even think I attack with this. Because they just block with the Dragon Kami Egg. And be able to cast something from that. And I think at this point I just need to chill. Okay, 14 cards left in the deck. Only a few lands. The rest is strict ass. Here we go. You can't bear a memory of it. Actually, knowing that, I probably should have thrown on one more thing. And a death toucher? Damn. That's a guy. I just don't have great ways of actually like closing out the match. It might come down to decking. It would take forever. Where it dies right now, it leaves the battlefield. Yeah. What is this? Your printed card. Oh. Okay, found another one. You'd love to see it. There's what, two lands left in the deck? Six, 12, 13, 14, three lands left in the deck. Ugh.
Matt is dead. My best bet's forcing blocks in such a way. I can get the Wanderer's Intervention out. They have eight cards left in their deck. Yeah. Can't save it. Kind of taking the gamble that their whatever card here just sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Okay. It is another enchantment creature, though. Amazing. Twenty percent chance to draw land, and I did it. That's right. You only have enough to activate it once. Right? Oh, they had two. Never mind. God. I don't think there's anything I can draw. Impressive, really. There's still two planes left in the deck, still.
No. <laughs> this is my last removal spell. Again, they could have activated it one more time and just killed me. And they only have five cards left in their deck. This is bullshit. I swear to God. If I draw my last land... Well, Trooper Kev gifting sub to Oops All Land. Not the first time we've done it. Also, that ranked me down. This was not a two and three deck. Oh, man. Feels bad. That was the that was the game I started with Oops All Swamps. And like managed to barely stabilize. My opponent wasn't playing great, but goddamn dude. A lot of land. Go back to Dominaria. Where maybe I'll find some wizards. The only thing I could have done was taken out their um, Kami Dragon Egg much earlier. Because they didn't really have a great creature to get from it. I probably should have assumed that when they were that deep into their deck. Alright. Dominaria, what we got? Thran Temporal Gateway. I have such a strong urge to meme draft this. And just grab Oops All Legendaries. Go nuts. Sure. Hold on. I gotta choose the outcome from the last deck. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, we're gonna meme draft. Legendaries. Give. More. Or sorry, not even legendary, historic. Which are bad. The cat, the cursed, gives your other legendary creatures plus two, plus two. This song is my mood. Could you ask if I raid someone's stream? Um, I probably will not do that spooky for hire. It's not really someone I know. Uh, we do have a, a, a chat redemption reward. Or if you earn enough uh, chat points, you can choose the raid target. But I, I choose not to raid Randoms. Second Thrawn Temporal Gateway. No, I can't do that. <laughs> After all, why shouldn't I have a second one? 
Ooh, wizard's lightning? Pick four? Watch me just shift completely away from it and end up in wizards again. <laughs> Give in to your hatred. Yeah, having two does give me a better chance of having it in my open hand. Alright, so all we're looking, really looking for is expensive historic cards. We want sagas. We want legendary creatures. And Bolus's clutches. All the colors. I don't give a shit. This only works when you cast a historic spell. If I go Girl from the Ashes, because if I'm playing Legendaries, I want to be able to make sure I got all my colors. Guardians of Coilos? Sure. Slin Voda. Oh, if Slin Voda shows up, that'd be perfect. I also wouldn't be opposed to Thraxus. Or Traxos? Traxos, that's his name. Come on, get the Voltaic Servant. Another divination. Also got some soul salvages, wing grace acolytes. Let's pick up some. Poop green. Servant untap the gateway. Yeah, that way if I have eight mana. Pure value, baby. Value. Oh. Your cards say historic on them. Uh, historic cards are any cards that are legendary, if they are artifacts, or if they are sagas. It was just like a thing that the Dominaria set cared about. This will wheel. I'll take it, but it'll wheel. So what does this read? Any historic permanent? This is a permanent. So is Ergoros. Ergoros is super good. Look down here. Let's have another Guardian of Coelos. Ether Glider, less good. Yargle! <laughs> No. Chaos Miles, thank you for the resub. Again, this will probably wheel. Kind of want the skin witch. Shauna? Yeah, we'll take you. Whatever. Another guardian? Or howling golem? Or second grow from the ashes. Take the golem. Uh, we're meme drafting Thran to Portal Gateway for those of you just joining us, by the way. Our two drop slots actually set. 
Crumpler64 with your 82nd month of a resub. Thank you so much. Just got into Arena after an eight-year break from Magic. I never played Limited before. Ooh. Um, yeah, so with Limited, the, be the best advice I can say is when you're doing your drafts is um, look for... At the end, your deck should be... Uh, I'm sure it was familiar. Yeah, why not? At the end, your deck will be about 17 lands, 15 or 16 creatures, and 7 or 8 other spells. You can tweak that depending on your draft, but that's generally what your deck's going to end up being. And as you're drafting, you want to look for stuff that's... Look for, like, efficient kill spells, games that are... Or any cards that are just going to win, like bombs, or, um, like, just impossible to kill cards. But also like efficient creatures. Apparently red's just open. Culture Pekev gifting sub to Harsh Font. Uh, but honestly, one of the best ways to get better at limited or any other form of magic is to watch other people play. Because you can learn a lot just by watching other people play. So the best thing about the Thran Temporal Gateway is that you can put it at instant speed. That's where the memes really come in. You've been watching me play this for two years and you still don't get it? I mean, like... Never been, like, fully paying attention, though, Ray Ray. Best way to go for a collection? It is. Draft is the best way to get your collection going. Frickin' Jasu Vess? Hell yeah. Bired. Also, don't hate the dual land. This deck is going to be stupid, chat. Or it's going to be genius. There is no in between. Second Shana. Danatha, come on in. I might be smarter to pick up like an Eviscerate because I don't have anything like that yet. Is it still worth it to get the Mastery Pass? That's a little harder to answer because it really comes down to how much do you plan on playing? Because if you plan on playing, like, a lot, then it can be worth it because you can get a fair amount of gems, gold, and packs out of it. But that's, like, I don't know. Are you are you putting, like, 20 hours a week into Arena, give or take? Oh, also, if you're just starting out, if you haven't yet, there are tons of um, promo codes you can enter to get free packs and free cards. They are There are lists online. Navigator's Compass would also be really good. I'm going to do the Compass. Don't love the Chainer's Torment. Hey, a dual land? Happily take that. Raph Capuchin, yeah. Come on in. 
believe there's reviews on the Mastery Pass. I just always ever followed uh, MTG Nerd Girls videos on the Mastery Pass or not, if it's worth it. Yargle! Come on in! Really? Knight of Malice? Wield? That's just straight good. Primordial Worm? Yeah, if you're also just starting off with draft, do a quick draft instead of a premier draft. Because the quick draft is just um, is just versus bots and gives you as much time as you need to uh, look through your cards and pick one. Where if you do premier draft, it's all time versus people. Jadale, we are we're meme drafting Thran Temporal Gateway. All right, here's a plan. Two temporal gateways. Can't lose. You're out, you're out. Probably don't need two of you. This is our fixing right here. Don't need nothing else. Do you want two Shanas? Other than for the meme? Also, someone took the Lich's Mastery. Just realized that. Were there more meme drafters in the pod? Better not. Guess we just get rid of the scout. All right, so we're basically black, green, splashing some red, and any other color is going to be temporal gateway. That's the deck's plan. Meme draft. D does chat dare wager? <laughs> Freaking dare you. Will this meme draft get four more wins? My webcam is speaking. That's actually at the chat that's back there. So I can turn it off. Pink, 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 pink. Just chat for my. OBS group. So basically, if our opening hand has lands and Thran Temporal Gateway, we keep it. Let's go. Shit. Mulligan. Yeah, baby. Dreams alive. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh. Are you wizards? Shit, wizards.
What does the gateway thing do? Eighth card that's historic. I can pay for and play it right from my hand. Got him! Oh, and then we got the Voltyric Servant. It's really happening now, chat. All we gotta do is get eight mana. Pornum wants to race? You are not even ready for the nonsense I got here. Thread Temporal Gateway! Into a Sphinx. Sphinx is good. Come on. Shit. I have so many legendary cards. I just gotta get any of them. Frickin' Yargle? Come on. Could you man surprise Yargle coming down swinging back for nine? I'm gonna die. <laughs> what are my flying answers, by the way? Wrath. Gargle, obviously. Meme draft. Come on, opponent, be cool. No! Oh yeah, well, we got him. Gradius? They'll never see it coming! This is stupid. <laughs> I hope you're looking at this and thinking to yourself, are you fucking serious? Meme draft. Stop playing cards for a second. No. Don't kick that. Hold on. Got him. <laughs> I'll show him. I'm just gonna destroy my rank. Hold on, before I fuck that up, what was my Dominaria win percentage? Sixty percent. It was just higher before I lost. Moral victory. I mean, moral victory was the fact that I got to activate Thran more than once. No one ever expects it. Uh-oh. You look like you're going to be try-hard. Yes! I have no historic card, but the dream's there. And we can grow from the ashes into it so I can afford it. Oh, 
Another red blue. God damn it. Yes! Might as well, right? Just goes Kelden Raider. Gotta get the gateway down. It's the only way to stop them. What? Excuse me? What's your total kicker cost? 10? Well, I got six. You killed one Guardians of Koilos, yes. But what about second Guardians of Koilos? Cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Kicks a skizzik. Damn it. If I get one more lane, I can double legendary. No! That's gonna have been awesome if I drew up my second one. Hold on, there's still a second one. How many man am I at? Nine. Okay, we're getting there. Mm. Thanks. Just one more land. This is going to bring you down to half your life. Arr! There it is. That does still leave them with two four fours on the battlefield. There's one of them. Come on, Thren, to Pearl Game. Damn it. Play something. Yeah! Never not had it. It's really sad that the kick Jasu vest didn't land. But the memes are alive! Game! Count it! Oh, come on, girl from the ashes. We need you, baby. Oops. 
Do I go from the ashes here or just get down the Halloween golem? Yeah, let's go golem. Did I make build a meme deck? I did, yes. Like, if you want to equip your sword to Forebear's Blade, that's pretty good. to stop the forebear's blade doesn't it just make mixed tokens right oh i guess vigilance and trample shit and it's like a six three uh what do i have for this find an answer It more correct just to kick into more lands. Bring me up to seven. Yeah. I will go down to 14, but if I draw one more land, I can then Thran into a thing. Oh, now you're attacking for 10. Okay. That's a lot. Planes? There are no planes in this deck! What are you, a noob? Now, if you want to attack, you got to spend mana. Stupid. I kind of want to use Urgos to attack back, but I gotta do some blocks. Fire intervention. Wait, how much mana do I have? Seven, nine. Oh, I'm one short. Fuck. That sucks. So I could have thrand out Wrath, and then flash in Ergoros. Literally one mana short. Damn. All right, no more aggro decks. No more beatdown. Let me meme. We'll just keep losing until we face bad opponents, so I got time to meme. Why not blow up the portal? I don't know. Because I could have, I don't know, I could have like put something down in response. Also, we've yet to see both Thran 
temporal gateways. I how they brong back legendary sorceries. You just have a stroke. Come on, give me like a silver player. Gold, that's fine, we'll take it. All right, Admiral Ace, we are humbly requesting you be cool. Just please be cool. Just let us meme. All right, we got enough for the gateway. Let us meme. Ah, oh, Steel Leaf Champion, come the fuck on. This is not what we agreed. Did you do mono green like a nerd? And another forebear's blade? So I'm fucked. I just wanted to meme. Why can't anyone ever be cool about anything? This is the worst day. Draw wizard's lightning. No, not that one. The wizard's lightning. Then I would have lived. Fuck. Ah, well. Rip the meme indeed. Hey, well, you know what? Meme deck won a match. So. I knocked over my light. In the end, it wasn't all that bad. Ugh, we tried to live the dream. Didn't even get to portal out a Yargle. Oh well. I'll wrap it up here. Yeah, opponents, no one's having fun. Right, I'm gonna wrap it up, everybody. Half the chat believed too. Oh, that's right, the prediction. Oh no, chat. Oh, oh no. All right, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. So, next stream is scheduled for Thursday. Might, probably more triangle strategy, and then um, weekend stream. I don't know. Maybe it. Maybe I'll do the, the D-Gen open. Play the tournament. Who knows? If not, maybe more of that. Could also possibly be some editing streams coming up. So we'll have to see. We'll do a raid before we go, though. MTD Nerd Girl is currently streaming herself doing some Dominaria. Looks like she also has a very spicy red blue wizards deck. Hopefully hers is going better than my meme stream. Uh, so hit her with that Pro J raid, hit her with that Pro J love. If you don't have either of those, just say Yargle. She'll understand. But thank you guys. Yeah, the first two drafts were good. My tryhard drafts were good. 
The Kamigawa draft was also really, really good, but the deck just completely boned us, and there's nothing we could do. Just some bad flood. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys all on the next stream and over in the Gameplay channel and into the Discord, if you haven't already joined there. And uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it, and you guys have a good, enjoy Nerd Girl stream. Tell her hi. It's like she's recovering from her LASIK. So she hasn't streamed in a while. So show her some support. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy your stream. Have a good rest of your night. And see you later. Yardle.